Henry. I started drafting these vows on May 6th, 2021, 412 days before our engagement. <laughs> But that day was the day that I knew I was certain my forever was you. I knew because I was absolutely terrified. <laughs> terrified that somehow I was gonna mess all this up. That I would somehow not get to keep this incredible, kind, strong man in my life. Stephanie, I am so happy that this day is finally here. Although this day had a lot of work leading up to it, it's been all worth it. From the change of venues and date, being here and marrying you is all that matters. We built so much together before getting here, moving in together, getting our own dog, Maya, and building a strong relationship where I can feel we can get through anything through our love and commitment. better than anybody how anxiety has shaped our relationship yet you've always been there to put my mind at ease being with you is like taking a deep breath and knowing with certainty that I'm home that I'm safe and that I am loved you have consistently and unwaveringly believed in me encouraged me and reminded me of my strength <laughs> Not once did you think of giving up on me or telling me I should throw in the towel. When I finally did get a job at Marin County Sheriff's Office, you were my biggest cheerleader. Going through that situation was not always fun, and I wasn't always the best person to be around when I struggled, but you're still there. I knew if that we could get through this, we can get through anything in life through us in the future, good or bad. I vow to continue to be an honest man to you. I will love you through all the good times and bad times. I will protect and provide for you in all forms, no matter what time or day it is. If you didn't know, Steph and I have known each other since we were four years old. Tonight, however, I have been given the most amazing honor and my favorite title and role, and that is being your maid of honor on the day you say yes to my second favorite person, Henry. I would like to thank every single person for their part in the Steph and Henry's story and how they got here today but also for being a part of this incredible day that we get to celebrate the two people we love the most. I have watched you both wrestle, really wrestle, for what you want and fight for one another. You have created a life and in many ways, we are here tonight experiencing micro stories that you are telling about each other and the hopes that you hold for your marriage. I therefore pronounce in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that you are husband and wife. Henry, you may kiss your back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor to present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lathrop. the chance to highlight one of my favorite things about your love. It is profound. To know you is to know what it is like to be unconditionally loved, accepted for who you are, everything, the good and the bad. So Stephanie, 
<laughs> when I first met you, I, I just kind of knew that you'd be in great hands. Henry's taking care of me and a lot of close friends of us, and I just knew right from my heart that he was going to be there for you, no matter what. You know, Henry's always been there with a lot of hardships for me, too. I can't thank him enough for that because sometimes oh you just got to have that one friend that who's going to be there for you. You can talk to you, you can say anything, bounce off you. And I've always thought of Henry as one phrase, uh, big heart, a bigger smile. In the flash of love's light, we dare to be brave. And suddenly we are. We see that love costs everything we are and ever will be. Yet it is only love which will set us free. So my challenge to both of you is to always pursue each other, to love each other unconditionally, to constantly make each other laugh, and to love each other greatly. Because that is the greatest gift every single one of us ever has. <laughs>